Hello furniture flipping friends, this is Shannon with Black Sheep House. In today's video, I'm making over this solid, extremely well-built pine dresser that I found at Goodwill for $50. And you won't believe the transformation this thing is going to go through. It's really fun. I got to use the Cricut machine and I wanna thank them for sponsoring this video. I'll get to all that a little bit later, but super cool what ends up happening to this dresser. You won't wanna miss a single bit. Off camera, I took the dresser outside. I've been loving doing my sanding outside of my workspace just to keep things from getting dusty when it comes time to paint. And so I just took it outside, filled in the gouges and dings. There were some really big gouges, which is one of the reasons why I have to paint this dresser versus stain it or something. And I, um, I didn't sand the whole thing. I just sanded where I filled in the spots and I only did about 80% of those because this finish that I'm doing today, I'm so excited because it's very forgiving. I love a forgiving finish because I'm just not like a, I don't always want to do perfect finishes. It's, it's very time consuming and it doesn't work for every piece. And so this is just such a great finish to have. Uh, I'm really excited about it and, and adding it to my repertoire. So I used one step paint without the chalk powder added in to prime the piece because it has primer and clear coat in it and you can make your own one step paint. I'll be sure to link the video with my one step paint recipe and it's really great. But it'll block the tannins and bleed through on this wood. I'm using the paint on and roll method. You guys know I love the Wiz foam rollers for cabinets and doors. I found at Lowe's uh, the mist tint paint had a beautiful green in there and I was like sold and I needed a semi-gloss for this project so this was perfect it was meant to be
we got. This is really exciting. Look what we got. They oh. sent us. Oh, it cuts wood? You want to pull it, help her pull it out? It's kind of heavy. Not just kind of heavy. Yo! Yo! So Cricut is a smart cutting machine. It allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials, and it works with this software called Design Space. And this comes free with your machine. This is where you can create your project and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. And then once you've created your design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut. The design that I found that I really liked was this fawn print and I bought it off Etsy for $10 and then I just uploaded it to the Cricut design space and what you can do on the design space is you can remove the background and so I clicked the button to remove the background and then it didn't remove it all because it was really detailed. You can see the font print has a lot. And so I had to go in and manually remove the background. But that was so easy. It was just literally pushing a button, remove background. And then you just feed it in there. So I'm using the Smart Vinyl. Begin. It's coming out. I thought I need like the thick and sturdy one. And so then you just push make it and it starts doing its thing and it cuts it like super fast. Like I said, I'm not very tech savvy and I was able to figure this all out and get it going in a matter of like an hour. I did this weeding on the project, which is sort of like relaxing, <laughs> but it did take a little bit of time to remove all the little things, but they have this tool that you just poke and, and just pick it right off. At this point in the game of the project, I have no idea what's going to happen because I have not tested it on anything. <laughs> I'm just going with my gut and hoping this works. And it, you know, spoiler alert, it really does work. So I peel it off and I did a 12 by 12 square, but the um, Cricut cuts up to 12 feet. And the rolls, um, it comes in these big rolls for the smart vinyl. And it also, they have like this special roll holder that like keeps it all organized and stuff. So it's such a cool um, tool to have. And for someone like me and my business, looking for ways to stand out and do different things, it is just going to be such a game changer. I've also seen where people can make merch, you know, I can make a black sheep house t-shirt and I'm really looking forward to doing lots of different things. And I'm also super excited that it cuts leather. I think that is like the coolest thing. But anyway, um, you, so you guys are going to be saw, seeing a lot more cricket stuff coming, <laughs> I think. I'm going to be trying lots of things. I have always envied those girls that do the pretty stencils. I think it looks like so much fun, the furniture stencils, but I've never really, like the stencil designs that they do, my customers just would never buy that and it wouldn't really sell in my area. So while it looked really fun, it wasn't gonna be profitable for me. And so when I found out about Cricut being able to make these cutouts and any design that I wanted, I was so sold and so excited because I could finally do the type of stencils that I think my customers want.
gosh. It's so, it's so cute. These are so cute. This is so, guys, I'm so excited right now. Okay, let's go on for another. One off, I'm just gonna go on there. Okay. And I'm just gonna use the paint, the roller to kind of smooth it out. Okay, off. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I actually really like the texture too. Oh I actually had some leftover homemade glaze from my Ikea nightstand project and my homemade glaze is just half paint and half clear coat. It does dry a little quicker than store-bought glaze but working in my garage and on something like this with small little dots it works great for that. It's a little bit sheer as well, so it's going to just give that perfect color, but without being obnoxious. And I'm so happy with being able to add something fun like this, but that it still fits my style and isn't too uh, crazy, or I feel like it doesn't get, it's not gaudy or tacky. Um, looking in this pattern so i'm really excited to be able to add patterns and things like that to my furniture painting this is just like a whole new world it's gonna be really fun It took me about an hour and a half to put the stencil all over this six drawer dresser, but I think you could cut that time in half by using a larger stencil, which like I said, the Cricut Maker 3 prints up to 12 feet. So I could print a pretty big stencil. And I'm going to reuse the stencil that I made. Uh, it's still sticky, so I'll just put it on a piece of glass and I'm gonna save it and use it later. But I will be making different stencils as well. Speaking of making stencils, I wanna make a couple of stencils and send them to you guys so make sure and comment below I'm gonna pick a couple of people that comment you can comment anything a heart a smiley face whatever and I'll send a couple of you guys this particular stencil and um, the other thing is I'm going to make sure and link the discount code to the Cricut Maker 3 if you want to buy it I do think that it's a worthwhile investment because you can use it for so many different things like 
making merch for your business or Christmas stuff or holiday items in general. I'm just so excited about the possibilities and that it's user-friendly because user-friendly is such a big deal to me. I am very technically challenged and I am not good with computers. Okay, so this is where I think a lot of people would go with this is like uh, decorating it like with the deer and, and the fawn stuff, which is so cute. I fell in love with those things, but I don't recommend staging your item with anything too far into decor like that's not neutral because like I said, and this is just how I roll with my business, I try to leave it open-ended and let the buyer... Uh, do the decorating and let them put it in their space and, and use it for what they're going to use it for. I kid you not, I have had people show up to buy dressers and tell me that they were going to paint it a different color. I kid you not. So I was just like, great, see ya. You know, I don't usually uh, give a lot of details in my Facebook marketplace um, descriptions. And so they don't know who I am. They don't know that I have the business and all that stuff. They're just like, oh, this lady's selling a dresser, you know? Uh, and guys, I promise I'm putting that video together with all the tips and tricks to selling and running the business. It's just a super long video. I may have to do it in two parts. But anyway, I'm so happy with how this turned out. Make sure and leave a comment below so I can send one of you guys or how many I'm going to do. I don't know, like between one and five of you, uh, one of these stencils. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>